It's astounding. My sweet daughter, I just talked to her. <laughs> I'm not very good with words. They have beat my daughter senseless. I said, just describe the picture you're in. You can describe the shape of a refrigerator or the color of the wall. I'm not very good with words. Sad. She can't complain of the abuse she's taking. She'll tell me the events of it when she doesn't see what's happening at all. She knows it's wrong and she's mad because they're saying, they're telling her to face something she's not. You ever have people do that to you? They're telling you right to your face, your motive and everything about you and you know damn well it's not so. And you remember you and you remember what you were thinking. That's not what went on at all. And they're telling you something else went on. What? Is that what a psychologist does? No, a psychologist doesn't. I've been with some psychologists who really were very... Because they compare you to mutual. To typical. Do they immediately compare you to exceptional? No, they don't. No, they look for the absolute typical of everything you're doing and find it in most cases. And remind you how to live with it. Typical. And you're being misdescribed in most cases all around you. And you are not to get so upset about that. Now, some of you, it takes a while to get that picture about yourself, and that's what the psychologists help you remember. But all of you came from one thing, a wonderful picture. Each one of you, that's all the psychologist does, is match the difference in your mind up with that and help you how to live with that difference. You all have one picture. You're lovely. Each one of you. Why did you forget that and act unlovely? <laughs> oh, you forgot you're lovely, huh? Tripoli, Libya, Egypt, forgot you're lovely. <laughs> lovely doesn't do that. Dummy. Just a figure of speech. Can a dummy be lovely? Of course. Can a lovely be dummy? You bet. No, 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 no. Egypt, listen, Israel will never live up, and you know that. Israel is a false country. You're not. You can't compare yourself to anything, Egypt. You are first and foremost. How about China? Can you compare yourself to anything, even Egypt? To me, you've got three pillars. United States like Rome incorporating everything, and in Rome does as Rome does. So the United States understands that living is Rome and does as Rome does. The United States, the pup on the block. Then you got China and Egypt. Pillars that the United States mimics the wisdom of and stands adjacent. How about that? Very ambient in awareness. Now let the rest keep up, is what I always say. How about you? <laughs> well, it's better what, <laughs> it's better than this, it's better than this. What's better, action or hope? How are you going to hope and not action? You go to hope, that's a place for action. Only people have, in this day and age that have their head full of hope, you think you can get action from them. Would you be recognized as somebody that they shouldn't recognize and they should recognize themselves and get into action? And that would be called action instead of hope. We're going to have hope church, you're going to have action church. Only when that hope church is parking lot and stuff full, you can pretty much tell what they're up to. I bet they all work for the county or the city or something. Or... Mainly they're the contractors, the county and city. You've got the county brokers, everything. So, if you work for the county and city, usually you're just a concession, somehow. Part of a brokering situation. Not paying your way. Overhead to what has to happen. Hope is overhead to what has to happen. Hope is overhead to what has to happen. Hope is overhead to what has to happen. A vagrant sitting in a tent. Hope. 
You got no position for it. You got the hands of what has to happen. You got the mind. You got generosity. You got all the tools, all the assets. No place for hope around here. None. Vagrant in a tent. Hope. Do you understand me? Huh? Said James. Read the letter of James. That's what James said about hope. Bah! That's what James said. I'm quoting the Bible now. My paraphrasing. Paul said it too. Peter was a hoper. Paul and James were not. No hope there. Action.